Hello everyone, my name is Mohit and I welcome you all to my YouTube channel. I hope you all are doing great. This is challenge number 15 of solving SQL challenges playlist and in this video we will discuss a problem on analyzing month to date sales from year to date sales data and uh, here month to date also popularly known as MTD and year to date known as YTD. Okay. So basically we will analyze MTD sales from given YTD sales data. Okay. So first let us understand the problem statement in a more clear way. So in this slide, this left table, it's sales data where we are given two columns. First is sales state and second is YTD sales or year to date sales. So in this input table, if you observe first row, this is for 31st of January 2023, correct? Second row is for 28th Feb 2023. Similarly, third row is for 31st March 2023. So basically every individual row has end date of a particular month, right? So first row is for end date of January. Second is for Feb. Third row is for March. Fourth row is for end date of April. Similarly, if you observe last row, last date or end date of December. Okay. So basically we have 12 different rows having end date of 12 different months. And for each date, we have YTD sales given. That means if you consider starting day of 2023 from there to current date, what was the sales that would be considered here as YTD sales. Okay. Now what is MTD sales? MTD sales means month to date sales which means from the starting date of current month to current date what was the sales that would be considered as MTD sales amount okay so this is the basic idea behind YTD sales and MTD sales if you have understood it that's well and good but if there is any confusion you will understand everything shortly okay so to implement this logic in order to obtain MTD sales from the given YTD sales data, let me switch to SSMS. And here we already have sales data table given. So let me select it first. Select star from sales data. Okay. So this is the same data what we have in our slide. Now, what is YTD means? YTD also known as year to date okay now if you consider 2023 as current year then this will become first date of 2023 1st of January 2023 and let's say today is 4th of March 2023 so here this YTD will cover date range starting from this to this. Okay. This will become here YTD. But for MTD, since this is our current date, let me write here MTD. So MTD will basically cover date range starting from first date of current month. Okay. And our current month is March. So this will be first of March. Okay. This will become MTD. So here we have considered this as a current date and current year is 2023. So date range for YTD will start from 1st of January to current date. That means starting date of year to current date. And for MTD, it will be starting date of current month to current date. Okay. So this is the simple definition of YTD and MTD. Now let us understand the problem statement again. Here if you observe this first date, the dates are given as last date of every month, correct? For first row, this is the YTD sales and wherever the term YTD comes, we always have to consider starting date as this one. So starting from this date to given date inside this column, 
this is the sales amount so let us understand this so this is for 31st of january right so starting from 1st of january to 31st ytd sales amount was this so here we can also say that uh, this particular sales amount is for month of january correct so this sales amount will become mtd sales for this month okay and mtd means starting date of current month to current date okay so let's say if you are in first row and your current date lies somewhere in between 1 to 31st of january so in this case this ytd sales will become mtd sales if you are at 31st of january 2023 okay now coming to the second row ytd sales till this date is given as 250 so till 28th of feb means it is also considering mtd sales amount or sales amount which was there for month of january plus it is considering the sales amount which was present individually for month of feb right so adding up these two values will come as 250 so if you currently are at this date let's say okay then mtd sales will become 250 minus 100 minus 100 means this 250 is total sales right ytd sales that means year to date and for mtd sales we want sales for only month of feb which is second month and this sales is also considering this amount okay so if you want only for month of feb then 250 minus 100 that will come as 150 now for third row ytd sales amount is 300 and let's say if you are at this date your current date is this date this one and you want to calculate ytd sales then what you will do since this sales amount is considering this also which was some total amount for january and feb correct so what you will do you will subtract 250 from 300 okay so whatever value you will get that will be mtd sales for this month if you were at 31st of march 2023 as a current date okay now similarly if you go to fourth row again this is a ytd sales that means starting from this first of january till this date this is total amount and uh, you must have got idea till now that this amount is also considering this amount 300 right and 300 was some total of all the sales amount for january feb and march okay so let's say currently you were at this date and you wanted to calculate mtd sales amount then what you will do you will just subtract 300 from 320 so basically this 300 is nothing but a total amount till march and 320 is total amount till april so if you subtract you will get individual sales amount for month of april okay so in short if i summarize this total thing i can say that uh, if you want mtd sales for any specific date let's say you are currently at this row and you want mtd sales for this month you will do what you will subtract its previous month ytd sales amount with current month ytd sales amount and that will result into mtd sales considering you were at this date currently okay so for every row you need to calculate its previous row ytd sales amount in order to get mtd sales for that particular month okay so let us implement this using sql query i'll copy this one i'll write select star from this now here i'll calculate another column that is third column and in that column what i'll do for every row i'll try to find out its previous month ytd sales amount and this value i can keep in third column of this row okay so that by subtracting these two value i can get mtd sales and that's what we have discussed correct the logic to achieve mtd sales amount okay so in order to calculate that i'll use a window function that is lag okay so how we can use this let me write it i'll write lag now on which column i have to apply this lag on this column correct so basically if i am at this row 
I should get its immediate previous month YTT sales amount, right? So I want this value at this row. So for that, I'll use lag. And inside this column, we need to pass that column name. And my column name is YTD underscore sales, right? Now, we need to specify the manner in which we have to perform this lag, okay? So I'll write over order by, how we will calculate this lag value? I'll use this date column, okay? So order by order date. Let me name this column as lag underscore YTD sales, okay? Now, in lag window function, as a second argument, we can pass by how many rows you want to lag the value. So basically this value I want to put in this row, okay? So I want to shift the value by one, okay? Now let me run it and let us see what we are getting. Let me select this table first. Okay, column name is sales date. I have written order date, sales date, okay? So basically I have given same name for this column and table. So no worries. Let me select it. See, we got values. Now let us verify. Let's say if we are at this date, then in order to calculate MTD sales, we need to subtract this value with this one. So basically I want this value in this row. And that's what we have got, correct? So 100 is now at second row. 250 is at third row. 300 we have got in this row, 320 we have got in this row. So basically every value has shifted down by one, okay? Now, if we subtract this value with this one, we will get MTD sales. That means if you were at this date, then what were the value of MTD sales amount in that case? So for that, we can just subtract this value and this value, right? Similarly, if we are currently at this date, Let's say today is 31st of July and you want to calculate MTD sales amount. Then what you will do? You will just subtract this value with this value. Okay. And this value is basically what? This value is sum of all sales amount till its previous month. Okay. And uh, that particular value we have got in this column by using lag window function. Okay. Now one more thing here value is coming as null. Now, if we subtract this and this, there should be some value here, right? So in place of null, we want, let's say zero. So what we should do? So this lag window function, accept third argument. And here you can specify what value you want to put in place of null. So in our case, it is zero. So let me put zero. Now let me run it. See, we got this value as zero and earlier it was coming as null, okay? Why it was coming as null? Because we don't have any value above this one. So basically for this particular row, in this particular cell, we didn't have any value to put in here, right? So that's why the value was coming as null. And uh, since we wanted to subtract these two values, so we have replaced that particular null value with zero, okay? Now we can easily calculate MTD sales for every month. So let me do one thing. I only want this column, this column and MTD sales. Okay. So I'll write select first column is second column is YTD sales we want and third column which we need to calculate is MTD sales and we can calculate MTD sales using YTD sales minus this column minus this column, correct? So for every row, it will subtract these two values from these columns, correct? And we can get MTD sales for that particular month. Okay, so YTD sales minus lag YTD sales. And this column, I'll name it as MTD sales, okay? And uh, what is the table from which I'll get this data? from this source table, 
or this sub query correct now if I execute it okay now we got MTD sales amount along with YTD sales okay so here you can verify in month of January MTD sales was 100 on this date MTD sales was this one so if you add this value and this value you will get this one on this date MTD sales was this one so if you add these three values you will get this one similarly at random if I select this date MTD sales was this one and here MTD sales means starting from 2023-09-01 to 2023-09-30 this is the sales amount which is nothing but MTD sales now if you want to verify this YTD sales you just need to add up these values you will get this as YTD sales okay so in this way you can calculate YTD sales and MTD sales okay so this is the exact output what was required as per our slide we are getting this exact output and we have used this similar query in order to achieve this particular output okay okay guys that's it for this video thank you so much for watching if you have enjoyed this content then uh, please don't forget to show your support by liking this video and uh, subscribing to my channel and uh, please make sure to hit the bell icon to receive the notifications about the new video update we will meet in our next video with a new challenge so please stay tuned till then take care and goodbye